Hey, what's going on, everyone? Here to do a little video here of how I polyurethane fill motor mounts. Basically, you take stock mount and you fill in the excess cavities with polyurethane. So these are what stock mounts look like. Kind of see through. That's the front mount. This is front mount that I'm currently running in the car right now. Your same style. It's the uh, one from my old car. So basically you fill up the cavities with the polyurethane. It makes them stiffer. Helps with how the, the engine feels and putting the power to the ground instead of just wasting it in the in the rubber with the power transfer. You see here how much flex these have. And this one I can't move it at all. Push not nothing. So what I use for filling these is this stuff here. It's polyurethane construction adhesive. Uh, you have to make sure you let it set up for a few days before you go bolting it in the car. Found that out before where if you don't let it cure then it uh, squishes out the sides and kind of lets the motor sag down a little further than that should. So I'll show you now what I do. Just take our construction adhesive, put it in the caulking gun. If your mounts are a little bit greasy like these, you might want to just clean them off with some brake cleaner first. Let them dry, make sure they're real dry before you start. That way it adheres good to the rubber. Cut the end off, and then you gotta just puncture the inside of the tube to get started. Don't want to lay it in too thick. I usually do a, a layer a day basically for a week or until it's full. That way it dries properly. So just like that. You don't want to put too much in either because then it will fall through to the other side. Just kind of build up to it. Build up your layers. Just a little bit on this side. Try to get it down as far as I can to touch the other layer. That. And I'll let that one sit uh, for about 24 hours and I'll add another layer. These are all mounts I've had from uh, cars I've parted out. Just save them so I could basically fill them and then I can take the one off the car now and replace with one that's ready to go. I don't have any downtime on the car. Just let a little bit out at the end so it seals it off. Release it. Just pull that back a little so the plunger's not pressing against it. Just let that dry and I cut off tomorrow and that will still be good. I usually get about a week or so out of the tube so if you are looking for motor mounts to fill, I suggest you go to the wreckers to get them. Because when you get to replacement motor mount from the aftermarket usually it's just this this insert here that's uh you press into the steel which uh is a real pain if you don't have a press or an air hammer probably one of the cheapest mods you can do to these cars that you get the best results from also when you're using this polyurethane stuff it's a good idea to wear gloves and try not to get it on your hands or your skin so it sticks pretty good and it takes a while to come off if it does get on you. Alright, it's been a little over 24 hours since I did the first layer. Uh, what I like to do is take a little screwdriver. 
or something pointy like an awl or whatever or a pick just to make sure that uh, you don't have uh, any soft spots if there is it'll basically poke a hole in it and uh, let the air at it well, I usually let it sit before I do uh, the next layer if that's the case so this one's pretty hard it's been over 24 hours so I'll put another layer on it now A little more in here. Start building it up. Didn't want to put too much in the first time in case it came out the, the other side. There's a fairly big gap, so I'm trying to fill it up a little bit at a time. A little bit more on this side. Let that one sit for tonight. I'll check it again in the morning. This one's got a fairly large gap, so I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. Let it set up, and then I'll do the next one, or do a, some more on it again in 24 hours. Alright, so it's been about uh, 24 hours since I did the last layer. Just going to check it. You see, it's uh, still fairly soft. So we won't add any more to that until tomorrow. Let it set up a little longer. Alright, so uh, basically that's how uh, you do them. Just keep uh, doing some layers until the cavity is all filled in. And then you let it sit. It's harden. This one's ready to go. Uh, as far as I'm going to go on this one, uh, last time I did lots of extra. Uh, I don't know if that's really necessary. I'm thinking I'll still get the same effect out of this one. Uh, nice thing about uh, this mod too is uh, you can do it on basically any mount that's got uh, the space in it. So anything that's a uh, factory with the, the gap in there underneath the or mounting location. So I got uh, this one here. I'm going to try. I need to get this one in, see if it uh, helps out some more. I'm going to show you guys what uh, one polyurethane mount does for vibrations in the car. It's not too bad, this is a cold start. It's not really moving around too much. It's not vibrating the dash or nothing, so... thing about the polyurethane mount is that it uh, makes for a better launch in these.